Hello everybody, what's up? This is Rich. I'm going to do a very quick tutorial on how to use a very simple PHP function called date. And you can get to it by going to the web address php.net slash date. And just so you know, any function in PHP, you can type their web address slash name of function and it will go directly to the documentation. The php.net website is set up very cool like that. So if you want to do another function, let's just say uh, preg replace, which is perform regular extension replace, it goes right to preg replace. Now, yes, the URL at the top will change. That's okay. You just type php.net slash the function and it will go to the uh, site. And if I want to do another one, let's just say uh, time. I'll go right to time. If I want to do php.net uh, sub str, it goes right to sub str. And it gives all the information that you need to know. So if you need any PHP function, that's how you do it. But let's go and do date. The easiest way to echo a date on a web page, echo meaning show on a web page or print, is to use R. This is the RFC2822 formatted date. And I'm going to give you a small example here. I have a text editor here with an index PHP file and a test directory on a remote server in FileZilla, which happens to be my personal domain. So what I'm going to do is just start PHP and PHP and put in here echo date R and then save and then I'm going to upload and then I'm going to go to a browser and load that sucker and press refresh and there it is Tuesday 19 February 2008 this is in 24 hour time which is uh, this is actually 2 p.m. and the minus 0, 0500 is uh, minus five hours behind the Greenwich Mean Time better known as GMT and uh, that's because I am on the east coast of the United States. So if I hit refresh, you'll notice that the seconds have changed. It's now says 57, and now it goes to 00, zero because it turned over a new minute. So this is dynamic. Whenever it's loaded, it pulls the time from the server and echoes it on the page. Now, let's do one that's uh, a whole lot more prettier than this instead of using just R. So let's see what we got here. Uh, we've got a whole bunch here. So we'll do full textual month, then full textual, no, I'm sorry, we'll do full textual day, then full textual month, then day of month, and then year. So we'll do it that way. Uh, we'll start with the day and full textual, which happens in this case be an L lowercase. So we'll do echo date L and I'll put in a comma. Now you don't have to put in a comma, I just do it there because I want this to look all pretty like. So we got uh, the day and then we'll do the full textual month which happens to be a capital F, full textual representation of a month. F. Then we'll do the day of the month. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Okay, we've got two choices. Lowercase d, which is day of the month with leading zeros. So, for example, if it's a signal, excuse me, single digit, it'll say 01 or 02 or 09 or whatever it is. But I don't want that. They have a lowercase j, which is the day of the month without the leading zeros, 1 to 31. So we'll put in a j. So we've got day of week, uh, yeah, day of week, month, day, and we'll finally put in a four digit year. Let's scroll down here. Okay. So we've got a choice here. If it's a capital Y, we have a four digit year. If it's a lowercase Y, we have a two digit year. I want the four digits, so I'll put in a capital Y. And there we go, echo date and our little flags there and save. And we'll upload to the remote server, go back and reload. There it is, Tuesday, comma, that's the comma I put in there. February 19, 2008. Now, if I wanted to add the time to this, I could. You can do this with the date function, which is actually pretty cool. So let me go back there. Okay, now they have a whole section for time here. So I will put 12 hour time with the uh, anti-meridium, which is the AM or PM after it, and uh, but no seconds. And I'll show how to do that. So we'll do 12 hour format of an hour without leading zeros, which is a lowercase g. So I'll go back here and I'll put G and then a colon. 
The reason I'm putting a colon is because if you look at a clock display, there is a colon between the hours and the minutes. That's not a function of date. That's just something I'm putting in there. So we have the hour, and now we're going to go for the minutes. And let's see. Minutes with leading zeros. You do want leading zeros in there, 0, 0 to 59, and that happens to be a lowercase i. So I'll put that. Now I want the anti-meridium or post-meridium, depending on the time of day, and I want that in lowercase letters. That would be a lowercase a. If I wanted capitals, it'd be a capital A, but I'll put a lowercase a. And then I will save, and I'll go back. I will upload to the remote, and then reload. There we go. Tuesday, February 19, 2008, 2.46 p.m. I could add seconds in here if I wanted to, but I don't want to do that. You can do all sorts of stuff with date, and it's pretty neat. You can even add the time zone if you wanted to. Well, I'll go ahead and do that just because I can, which happens to be a capital T for the time zone abbreviation. I'll go back in here, and I'll put a capital T. I will save. I will post to the server. I'll go back and reload. So now it says 2.47 p.m. EST, Eastern Standard Time. You can do a whole bunch of stuff with dates. So just go ahead and go to the php.net slash date. Check it out and format your dates nice. And people 